what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new yet my name is divine i'm a musical five minominak drummer and a keyboardist i have been for many many years i started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic make sure you follow us on instagram at the perseverance reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to So beautiful. Hope you guys are feeling, feeling good. good. Today, guys, we're back again with new video, guys. Museum, my beautiful guys. My name is Devon, and welcome to the Pacific Guys, guys. Today, we are excited. We are happy. Um, this was recommended by you guys. The Bible says Jesus is not God. Shocking evidence, right. Right? guys. To be sincere, ever since I've been reacting to Muslim videos, um, I think I need some psychological evaluation of myself because uh, I've been having some dreams. Um, I'll be having some thoughts when I'm walking. Um, different things in my mindset. I'll be asking people, I'll be asking questions. I feel like the things are too many for me to to hold by myself. I, I need someone to let the, my feelings too and tell people mm -hmm. about how I'm feeling inside me because it feels like everything I know about myself, everything I know about my religion ever since I was a kid has been should I use the word? Um, different from what? Different from what I'm saying. And it's very hard to accept what I'm saying here in some way because this is not what I grew up with. So I have to call a pastor to check out some Muslim videos for me. And he clarified it 100%. But I'm also having some thoughts when I watch. I also asked some of my Muslim friends. So they were giving me feedback that Muslims don't believe in the Holy Spirit and they don't believe in that Jesus is the Son of God. So they were seeing a lot of things and it was contradicting everything I have been taught ever since I was a kid. And I truly want to continue making more research. But if I say it's not affecting me, I'm true, I'm lying because it's truly affecting me every time I I watch this. Every time. I don't know about you, what it is it affecting you the same? Uh, I feel like I'm getting to know more about Muslim religion and they're telling me more about what they believe in and what they know about the Bible and yeah. Christianity in general. So um, I don't know if it's giving me such psychological affection, but I, I'm just open to knowing new things and learning more about other people's religion. <sighs> See, I've been so about this every time, guys. I'm so I really don't know what to expect in this video. Like, whenever I want to check a Muslim video now, I'm kind of scared. Yeah, I, <laughs> I really don't know what to expect. Oh my goodness. Is that right? Guys, let's, let's give this a try. You know how it is? We talk less about it. We ask more. Let's get into this video. Despite the fact that Jesus, peace be upon him, is one of the most significant personalities to have ever walked the earth, he is also perhaps the most misunderstood and misrepresented person in history. Just who is Jesus? What is his nature? God? Man? Both? This video will examine some reasons from the Bible why Jesus cannot be God. The doctrine of the Trinity defines God as one being who exists eternally as three distinct persons, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Each person is said to be fully God, yet Trinitarians believe they are not three gods, but one God. A key element of the Trinity is the Incarnation. This teaches that the second person of the Trinity, God the Son, took on human flesh in the bodily form of Jesus. Thus, when Mary gave birth to Jesus, God entered into the creation as a human being. However, such beliefs contradict what the Bible teaches about God's nature. Your throne is established from of old. You are from everlasting. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. The Bible defines God's nature as eternal and unchanging. Indeed, God cannot change because he transcends time. So the claim that God became flesh is a contradiction. 
Such beliefs also call into question God's perfection. Since God is the pinnacle of perfection, there is no need for him to become anything. If something needs to be added to his nature, such as humanity or anything else for that matter, then doesn't that mean he lacked something before? Which state is considered more godly, the pre-incarnation God or post-incarnation God? You can see that the doctrine of the Incarnation puts Trinitarians in a blasphemous predicament. Trinitarians try to get around this problem by arguing that when God became a man, a human nature was merely added to God's existing divine nature. Since the two natures did not mix, the divine nature did not change at all, and so God remained the same. Can this be considered valid reasoning? Well, if God added a new nature to himself, then that is a change in state. Was God always a man? He was not. Did he become a man? According to Trinitarians, he did. So to claim that God did not change is nothing more than philosophical wordplay. The New Testament mentions an incident with Jesus and a fig tree. Jesus was hungry. Seeing in the distance a fig tree and leaf, he went to find out if it had any fruit. When he reached it, he found nothing but leaves, because it was not the season for figs. Then he said to the tree, May no one ever eat fruit from you again. We are told that Jesus approached a fig tree because he was hungry, and when he realized it had no fruit, he became angry and cursed it. Now such an incident makes no sense in light of the Trinitarian claim that Jesus is fully God. God is all-knowing. So if Jesus really is God, then that would make him the creator of fig trees. In which case, how could he have been ignorant of the fact that it was not the season for figs? If Trinitarians want to argue that it was the limited human nature that made this mistake, then why did the divine nature act on the mistake of the human nature? Is this a case of the human nature overriding the divine nature? Is such a thing possible? Moreover, why would God curse the fig tree for producing fruit in certain seasons, something he himself willed it to do? If Jesus is God, then wouldn't it have been more befitting of him to command the tree to bear fruit? Why ruin a perfectly good tree? Come fig season, this tree would have had fruit and others could have eaten from it we can see that when it comes to the knowledge of Jesus, it seems that either the divine nature is lacking or completely absent. How then can the claim be made that Jesus is fully God? From what we've seen, it seems that Jesus is human, but not divine because he lacks essential attributes of God, such as possessing all knowledge. Moreover, such divine shortcomings aren't just restricted to Jesus. The Bible tells us that the Holy Spirit also lacks God's perfect knowledge. But about that day or hour no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Here Jesus categorically states that no one, which includes himself and the Holy Spirit, knows the hour, but only the Father. Since they both lack the Father's knowledge, the Trinitarian claim, that the Father, Son and Holy Spirit are equal is false. The co-equality of the persons is a central pillar, without which the foundation of the Trinity comes crashing down. There is an interesting incident according to the New Testament, where a Jewish teacher of the law approaches Jesus and asks him which of the commandments is the most important. The most important one, answered Jesus, is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Well said, teacher, the man replied. You are right in saying that God is one and there is no other but him. When Jesus saw that he had answered wisely, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. This incident was the perfect opportunity for Jesus to correct Jewish misconceptions about God's nature and give a Trinitarian understanding. As you can see, the exact opposite is the case. 
by quoting the Old Testament commandment about God being one and agreeing with the Jewish teacher's interpretation, Jesus is affirming a Jewish understanding of God that is purely monotheistic and rejects all notion of God being a trinity. Not only is the Jewish teacher's wisdom about God acknowledged, but Jesus goes so far as to compliment him, saying that he is close to the kingdom of God. In another incident, Jesus prays to God and says, Father, the hour has come. Now this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Notice that Jesus identifies the Father as the only true God to the exclusion of himself, the Son. Now if Jesus really is part of a trinity, then he would have said the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit are the only true God. From these examples, it's clear that Jesus followed in the footsteps of the prophets of the Old Testament, such as Abraham and Moses. Does it make sense that God would send countless prophets over a span of thousands of years with a consistent message of pure monotheism only to all of a sudden reveal that he is a trinity, a radically different message which contradicts his previous prophet's teachings. Muslims respect and love Jesus as a great prophet of God. In fact, Islam holds a unique position among world religions as it is the only religion other than Christianity that acknowledges Jesus as the Messiah. You may be surprised to know that Jesus is mentioned more times by name in the Quran than Muhammad, peace be upon them both, and that Mary, the mother of Jesus, even has a chapter of the Quran named after her. God, out of his mercy for mankind, resolved all of the confusion surrounding Jesus by revealing the Quran. The Quran puts forward a clear picture of both God and Jesus that is easy to understand. People of the book, Jews and Christians, do not go to excess in your religion and do not say anything about God except the truth. The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, was nothing more than a messenger of God. His word directed to Mary, a spirit from him. So believe in God and his messengers and do not speak of a trinity. Stop this. That is better for you. God is only one God. He is far above having a son. Everything in the heavens and the earth belongs to him, and he is the best one to trust. Jesus is not God, or even the literal son of God. Rather, he is a man, messenger, and messiah. He is a creation of God, just like the messengers that God sent before him, such as Abraham and Moses. God, by contrast, is unique and separate from his creation. Islam is a religion of clear guidance. There is no confusion about who God is and who Jesus is. The Quran provides the simplest, easiest and most accessible description about the nature of God. A healthy relationship with our Creator is only possible when we understand who He is. This was a lot. Being a Christian as I am right now, I would say uh, I dispute this part full time. Uh, using the example of a fig tree to explain the pattern of Trinity, I truly don't accept it because the person who made this video, according to what I've seen right here, is saying things out of his own understanding. Exactly. Um, what he thinks and giving feedback to it. Um, all my life I've been taught and I have experienced miracles. I have been imparted full time. Jesus being the Son of God, clearly it's on the Bible. Um, I believe in that. And having the Holy Spirit after Jesus 
ascending to heaven. It says it's going to send us a comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. Having the Holy Spirit in me, being Trinity, was all ordained by God. God himself, I see God as an higher authority. He's the highest. Yeah. Though they have been like God, the oh, Son Jesus, yeah. and the Holy Spirit, but God is the highest. In the beginning, there was nothing. He said, let there be light. Okay. It was a, a word, an utterance from God. He, the, he was the one who said, let there be light. They didn't say Jesus said, let there be light. Though they are three. But he is the creator. He's the, that's why he's called the father. Yeah, exactly. The father ought to know more. That's why he's called the father. Um, I'm not here to argue or debate about this. Yeah. But to my own understanding about this video, the, the person who constructed this video himself is talking to me basically because out of his own understanding, my own understanding is that there's Trinity. Uh, me believing in it, you might feel like I'm stupid, but all my life, it's not because I have been brought up in that pattern. It's because I read the word of God. I have witness. I have, I'm a testimony. It was not being spoken by a man to me or a preacher. It was an encounter. So um, I know there, there's a lot of false prophets in the world. So I don't believe every word I hear. I'm very, very distinct. There's no whole word I hear yeah, picked into me. I'm being guided by the Holy Spirit. That is what we've been taught. That is how I learned it. That is what I feel in me. And that is the guidance that I've been passing through my life. So it's not by man doing, it's by the Holy Spirit. It's by God guidance in my life. It's not by man doing. I'll keep on saying that. This video itself, it was to me how I say it, just basically talking to the Christians. Uh, we should not believe in the Trinity. It was fully talking about the Christians and I fully dispute it. I do not agree to it, 100%. What do you think? I feel when it comes to religion, we're all going to have different opinions based on what we learned, what we brought up with and otherwise. Yeah. But to me, I feel it's best like we follow our own path. Like if you're Muslim, this is what you know about your religion. Because yeah. if not, it's going to cause a lot of controversy between different so religions. religions. But when you talk about the Trinity, it's... Is there, yeah, the Trinity. It's God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Even when he was talking about the... Um, the scriptures when he said that even him the son don't know when the end time is going to be yeah. so if you believe in jesus christ why don't you believe jesus is the son of god because even in the bible is there that jesus is the son of god but let's not talk about that but the part that they say that the trinity is not true i feel that's your belief that's your own understanding based on what you have been taught but these are our understanding based on what we've seen miracles that have happened so we all have different perspectives, we all have different understanding about the Bible, the Quran, and otherwise. But I just feel that in the end of the day, despite everything, despite all the misconceptions, despite all the disagreements, we all know God, we all know that He's the Almighty, He's the beginning and the end. And I feel if we keep living with love, leading with love, and obeying the commandments that God has left for us, and serving Him in truth, in spirit, we are all going to go to heaven at the end of the day. So arguing about this, I think it's going to cause a lot of controversy, a lot of dispute. So we should just believe in what we truly believe in, believe in what we've been taught. I believe in the Trinity. You don't. We all have our own perspective about things. So, differences. Yeah, we all have differences. And it's normal because if we don't have differences, I don't think the world will be as big as it is today. But this was a wonderful message for him. But all I can say is that he picked out Bible verses based on his own perspective and he just explained it. If you're to read the chapters better, you're going to get a clearer view and a clearer understanding of what those chapters of the Bible are talking, talking about. about. Yeah, that's true. 
Um, thanks for your comment in this video. I greatly appreciate it. Guys, comment down below your thoughts about this video. What do you think? Comment down below, guys. Um, subscribe to our channel, guys. You know how to do it. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku, bitch, in my bed. I got scales all